going one step further on what uh, uh, David Barb, the president of the World Medical Association, is saying. This division into the allopathy, homeopathy, Ayurveda, this is actually divisive and nonsensical. There's only one question. Is medicine effective or not? Whether it's allopathic, Ayurvedic, homeopathic, whatever. And if there is scientific evidence, all systems should accept the medicine, ignoring its origin or its original system of medicine. See, my recent experience with uh, a company which uh, manufactures an aphrodisiac preparation using seeds of mucna prurines, a tropical plant, uh, which is traditionally used in Ayurveda as a uh, herbal aphrodisiac. Now, what has happened is a host of studies done and published in medical journals worldwide has actually identified good number of ingredients in this particular plant called prurianinin, prurianidin, and uh, etc., etc., with proven aphrodisiac qualities. So this division is actually ridiculous. Let a medicine have its origin in any system of medicine. The only question is, does it have any scientific evidence or not? If there is scientific evidence, every single system of medicine should accept it. Otherwise, let the traditional system which was uh, using this continue doing so. Other systems should reject it outright. So my position on this is simply ignore all divisions in medicine. Do not practice any mixopathy. What uh, should be practiced is medicines which are scientifically proven, irrespective of its system of origin. If you try to call away number of herbal medicines because uh, they are of Ayurvedic origin, that would be the most ridiculous, ludicrous thing to do because one needs to scientifically test the contents, biochemistry and the pharmacodynamics of these uh, herbs and see if it's effective. And, and if it's proven effective, why should the suffering patient population in the world lose the benefits of a medication which is uh, purely herbal and hence uh, could be way better than a chemical alternative? So my take or my stand on this is simple and clear. Let medicines belong to any system of medicine. There's only one big question. Is it scientifically proven or not? If it's scientifically proven, every single system of medicine in the world should accept it. If it's not, let the system, traditional system which uh, prescribes this medicine continue doing so. Other systems should choose to ignore that medicine. But without scientific studies and research, rejecting any medication could be the most ridiculous, ludicrous thing in the world. It will cost the patient community very many wonder drugs. Thank you very much.